at the age of 14, 15, saying, I know that you want to be a tennis player, but how good can you get? I got that opportunity to go out in Sydney working and playing in junior tournaments and yeah, performing as well as I could as a kid. I had a good coach in Rockhampton, a fellow called Charlie Hollis, and he said, you with a backhand like that, you'll never win Wimbledon. And so you'll have to learn to hit it flat or go over the ball and get topspin on the ball. I knew for a long time that I was hitting in the cheap seats, but when my arm got a little stronger, you know, control the ball, that's when I started winning more. It didn't phase me and I felt like I could continually improve. That thought, I think, got me close to how I loved the game. My greatest achievements is certainly is winning Wimbledon. I think it's always been an idol of, of being with a lot of various people. Being fortunate enough to win the Grand Slam in 1969, coming to Brisbane, competing on that particular occasion and then winning it and then going to the French and pulling it off there and then of course the US Open. So I've been very fortunate to play some of my best tennis at the right time. You come down to Australia and competed and played here all my life, that with today's great players is a thrill in its own right. I think for me, I feel like I'm coming home. I just love playing the game. That's why I've been recognized as a tennis player that enjoyed the sport, competed hard. It was just a great opportunity to see the world.